America is a nation of immigrants. Everyone knows that. And there are not many things as American as apple pie, which is actually not American. And baseball, which was based on a game rounders from England. Oh, we have the Statue of Liberty, which was a gift from France of a Roman goddess built by immigrants and paid for by a Prussian. Hmm. So the only thing we could be sure of is the fact that so many cultures and countries helped shape America. But that being said, you can see why people from both parties are upset that DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, was not renewed and will likely send thousands of people back to their countries of origin, even though America is all they have ever known. As a teacher, I found that experience is the best way to learn. And let's be honest, we rarely appreciate or even understand something until it directly affects us. Most young adults probably don't even care about the end of DACA because it doesn't affect them directly, but it definitely affects someone that they know or even someone who they go to school with. So how would my students feel knowing that they're gonna be taken out of my class because of a decision their parents made and that they had no control over? Please check your emails immediately. Thank you. All right, hold on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I would like you to do very quickly, uh, who went to Connecticut Farms, Battle Hill, and uh, <laughs> Connecticut Farms, Battle Hill, Washington. All right, do me a favor. Those of you who went to that school, get in this row right here. What's the other school, Livingston? Yeah, what up? Get in this row right here. Franklin and non-union elementary schools get in the last row right here. All right. Back on important stuff. I am sorry for the interruption, but please, please inform students that to help improve test scores, all students who attended Livingston, Battle Hill, or Hannah Cordwell will be, and I repeat, will be taking an additional algebra class instead of their elective Oh, I have no! They will receive their new oh, no. 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 Just so you know, I'm gonna cry. We had a faculty meeting last week and they did say there'll be a change of schedule, but they never said that teachers or students will be changed based on their scores. Because of the numbers, they had to do it by uh, elementary school. Are you kidding yeah. me? Right. I don't even know why I'm in the second one. I'm in the second one too. Just for the fourth marking period. I'm, I'm oh no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Attention, please inform all students that if they attended Washington or Connecticut Board, they will be now? taking an additional what? English class. Quiet! Quiet, quiet! Also, receive new schedules on Monday as well. As for students who went to Franklin or did not attend an elementary school in town, good news. Bad you news. get to stay where you are. Wow. All right. I'm not coming to school. Request per Mr. Lowry. Please inform any students who have issues with this to either see me in my office or have their parents set up a meeting with me directly. It is not our fault that their parents chose to live in a certain part of town and attend a certain elementary school. All right, who wants to go see Mr. Lowry together? All right, all right. first of all, good news for Franklin students and non-Union High School students. I'm only kidding about these policies. Oh All right, God. so don't freak out and text your parents. So I had Mary Rose call directly to our classroom and give you the perception. All right, the reason why, DACA, Deferred Action for Children Arrivals. The whole premise of DACA is it's a very topical issue now. People are concerned that we're punishing kids for the choices 
parents. And all they know is their lives here. And we're forcing them to go back to somewhere that, where they don't know. So I wanted to see how you would respond if we completely ripped your life apart based on the elementary school well, you went to, all, which you had no, <laughs> yeah, no relationship to. So how you felt, multiply that by about a million. And that's what it's like. I felt like, honestly, that's just not fair. It's just not, it's not fair. I felt like the world was about to stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly. I felt like everything was about to go upside down and I was gonna have to switch all my classes, so that was gonna be crazy. We already have our friends that we have in our classes and like everyone's cool with each other and then to have to change classes and not know anybody again and start over and get comfortable again is like ridiculous. At first I thought I was gonna get some crazy, um, some crazy class next year, but they said that the, from where I came from, I didn't have to take any classes. I was gonna be left normal. I started feeling bad for him. No, he didn't. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, pancake.